Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, June the 14th, 2012. Continuation of the trend to the upside today and uh, we have a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low and for the first time in the previous week or so a continuation of a trend and to the upside in this case and also a trend that's being supported by the dominant force that's made the higher high in this uh, uptrend by the buyers. We have however had the market find some resistance at the 1333 level and we see this small shadow on the top of the candle highlighting the loss of commitment around that area. So 1333 has been highlighted previously as a very important level and once again we're seeing that as a barrier to this market. Having said that however we do have a largish white body candle denoting the buyers making net bullish progress as well as them closing with control of this market showing pretty strong commitment except for that loss of commitment probably late in the day and they're also quite keen so this market is attempting to build some momentum to break out above this 1333 level if we do see a bullish close above there then we would have completion of this complex head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder and we've also got now a bullish close up above the barrier of this wedge type pattern that's formed with these two orange lines forming the upper and the lower boundaries. The, uh, with wedges uh, the target is the uh, extent of the move into the wedge so it's from this low at 1266 down to about 1335 so roughly 70 points from the breakout level which would be uh, roughly about 1395 and would coincide roughly with uh, around uh, this 1400 level almost so that would be quite significant if the market does continue to the upside. Now in terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension of the current uptrend and the market is uh, interacting with the 100% level and we've seen some rejection from there so that level moving forward tomorrow is very important and uh, coinciding with the 1333 level it's at 1334 so within this zone we have strong potential for resistance. Also in terms of the Fibonacci retracement of the prior downtrend which was only uh, it only lasted for one uh, candle but uh, we have uh, the 100% level at the 13.35 level and today the market closed at the 78.6 which is a minor level but uh, can often hold as an area of resistance and considering the rejection we've had from this area uh, the market will need some good solid momentum from the buyers to uh, break out above this area around 13.33 in terms of uh, Ichimoku, the market is trading below the cloud, so we have an overall negative bias in the longer term time frame, but now trading above the Kuchin Sen and the Tenkan Sen. We've had a bullish breakout above the Kuchin Sen, and uh, that uh, is quite significant for this market. We had a minor breakout to just above there a couple of trading periods ago, retracement back towards, and now uh, we have a continuation of that. And it's been uh, quite some time since we've seen the market trading above the Kuchin Sen. So uh, if this market can uh, have a solid close up above the 1333 level, we certainly could see it trading up towards the cloud around this uh, 1378 level or so. In terms of the shorter term time frame, the market's also bullish by trading above the Tenkan Sen and looking at the Chikka Span that's below the corresponding price action. So it's confirming the negativity that we're seeing in the longer term time frame, but failing to confirm the bullishness that we're seeing in uh, the uh, shorter time frames. So in terms of uh, overall, uh, we have a bearish market that's trying to retrace this substantial downtrend that the market's been in some good solid bullish activity in the shorter time frames that's now being supported by the buyers but we do have very strong resistance at 13.33 a bullish close above there could see the market trade substantially higher